all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors amen all right onto this one reaching us says we are coming for you Makinde tells ibaragba people as bauchi governor commissions gedu or rocky sabo or sipa road all right my people the news in details well onto this or your state governor she you on thursday declared that his administration will continue to fulfill its mandate to the people in every way stating that part of that mandate is the ongoing massive infrastructure revolution in the state the governor maintained that his administration is embarking on the delivery of massive road infrastructure across the state to expand the economy of the state. On today's governor, Makinde, who stated this at the Ashikwa Junction behind the palace of the Alafi of Oyo in Atiba, local government of Oyo town shortly before the commissioning of the 5.25 kilometers Gedu Oroki Sabo Osipa Road equally said that the government is also building good road networks and an interconnectivity outside Ibadan, the state capital, to stem the tide of rural urban migration. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Taiwo Adisa, indicated that the Governor was joined by his Bauchi state counterpart, Senator Bala Mohammed, to commission the 5.25 kilometer road project. Governor Bala, who was the special guest of honor at the event, congratulated Makinde for standing by his people, describing him as being passionate about the development of Oyo State. He added that the Oyo State governor attested technocrats came into government with a plan and that the plan has been about using available resources to improve the lot of his people. The governor who also lauded the people of the state for supporting Makinde said he was excited that governor of the People's Democratic Party PDP have been living up to the expectations of the people. Mohammed said, I am indeed honored to be in Oyo State by the invitation of my friend and a brother GSM. I bring to you the warm regards of our people in Bauchi State. According to his statement, I quote, I am very delighted to be here today. Oyo is a center of civilization. If you look at our interrelationship as a nation between various partners in the Nigerian project, Oyo is the center of everything. The relationship between northern Nigeria, where I came from, and the Yoruba land is incubated under the auspices of our leaders in history, from Halafi of Oyo down to Ogbomosho. So I congratulate the people of Oyo State for electing a man who is showing that Oyo State is the center of civilization. He has become the center point of our reference point as governors as he came into governance with a plan. He is using the available resources to improve the quality, the quality of life of the people. I could not wait to come to Oyo because we had been hearing and then seeing that the governor is doing in terms of infrastructure and the poverty alleviation. We were, why were they not done before? Where is the money now coming from? These are the questions the new generation of Nigerians should be asking. 
Muhammad also hailed McIndey for providing leadership in the PDP, describing him as a mesmerizing leader who has been stabilizing the party across states in the southwest. Governor McIndey, while speaking, at the official commissioning ceremony said that his administration will continue to fulfill its mandate to the people of Oyo State in small ways and big ways. Makende, who appreciated Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State for honoring the state with his presence, said he is elated to see that or your residents are happy with the project being delivered. Just three months ago, we were here to officially flag off the 34.85 kilometer or your insane road. I am sure everyone can see the work is going on well. As we speak, the project has reached Fashola Farms. When people hear that this road is 5.2 kilometers, they might say, oh, it is a small road. But when you look at the people who came out today to celebrate a small road, you will realize how important it is to them. This Gedu Oroki Sabo Osikpa road link Oyo West and then Atiba local government areas in Oyo. It also links the North South Federal A1 Road Route 2 connecting Oyo Isen and Ugbomosho Isen roads. So it might be small to some, but to our people here in Oyo, is it small? No. So we will continue to fulfill our mandate to our people in small ways and their big ways. Part of that mandate is to stem rural urban migration by ensuring good road network and an interconnectivity outside Ibado zone. Very soon, in fact, in the next two months, we will be counting three years in office and then we will be presenting our scorecard. The good thing is that our scorecard is not hidden. In road construction alone, we have over 550 kilometers of roads, both completed and ongoing. We have successfully laid the proper foundation for engineering a modern or your state. As we have said repeatedly, we believe that everywhere that roads go, development follows. As so, when we promise that we would move the good people of your state from poverty to prosperity, we knew that a lot of our plans would be aimed on creating a viable road network through rehabilitations, reconstructions, and then constructions. So far, we have done a lot of work around the Okehogun or your Ibado houses, and we are seeing how much development this has brought in less than three years. Development means that more businesses are seeing or your state open up and uh, they are coming to site their companies here. When these companies come here, they pay taxes, and so we have been able to raise our internally generated revenue IGR by a record 15 billion naira in two years. More recently, we are expanding the road network and the linking OK Ogun to Ogbomosho through the Isai Fakote Ogbomosho Road. This 75.7 kilometer road will serve the same purpose as the Muni Ijaye Isai Road, providing a vital link between two zones. Governor McIndey declared that his government will move to the Ibarakwa zone of the state, stating that the administration has no intention of leaving any zone behind in terms of development. We have a message for our people in Ibarakwa zone. We are coming for you. Yes, we did not forget you in our bid to engineer a modern or your state. The people of Ibarakwa will not be left out. 
we have rewarded the reconstruction of the 58 kilometer Omi Adio Ido Erua Road. Also, we have approved the limited rehabilitation of the Igbohora Igaga Igana Road, while the reconstruction of the Isaba Ogundoin Road Erua is currently ongoing. We did not come into government without a plan. We knew what we wanted to accomplish, and then I am happy that you are all seeing a modern or your state develop before your eyes, your very eyes, and then or your state where no zone is left behind in our development plan, and or your state we can all be proud of marking they had it. Earlier, the commissioner for works. Public Infrastructure and the Transport Professor Dahoud Sangodoyin said the 5.25 kilometers road was expanded from 8 meter to 12.3 meter with 7.3 meter carriageway and a 2.5 meter shoulder on each side of the carriageway. All right, and then this is exactly what it is right now on to this one. Well, majority of things are actually being said on to this. And then as it stands right now, hmm, according to the governor of Oyo State, he has said it, and then I quote, we are coming for you, Makinde tells Ibarakwa people. As Bauchi Governor Commission's Gedu Oroki Sabo Asikpa wrote. All right, my people, this is what it is right now. What more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your take on this, my people. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. All right, thanks and God bless.